subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I am online. Hello guys, guys, क्या आप अपनी company में अब आपके जो employees हैं उनको random websites use करने से रोकना चाहते हैं? या फिर आप ये चाहते हो कि वो आपकी कंपनी में सिर्फ कंपनी का ही काम करें सोशल मीडिया बिल्कुल नहीं चलाएं ऐसा आप करना चाहते हैं या फिर आप अपने घर में पेरेंटल लॉक लगाना चाहते हैं उन वेबसाइट्स पे ताकि आपके घर में अगर आपके बहुत सारे बच्चे हैं किड्स हैं सो वो लोग वेबसाइट्स ओपन नहीं करें सोशल मीडिया ज़्यादा देर तक नहीं चलाएँ और आप साथ ही साथ में एक टाइमर भी लगा सकते हैं कि वो कितनी देर तक उन वेबसाइट्स को यूज करें सो गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑल दी स्टफ हाउ टू ब्लॉक अ वेबसाइट ऑन योर नेटवर्क सो दैट एनी वन कैन नॉट ओपन दैट पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट सो गाइस दिस इज द थर्टी एपिसोड ऑफ ट्यूज डे टॉक्स एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल दिस इज वारन लिलानी इट्स बीन मोर देन सेवन एंड आई गेस सेवन एंड हाफ मंथ सिंस वी स्टार्ट ट्यूज डे टॉक्स सो गाइज दिस इज द थर्टी एथ एपिसोड दिस इज द थर्टी एथ वीडियो आई होप यू ऑल आर लाइकिंग द ट्यूज डे टॉक्स सीरीज सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द वीडियो सो गाइज Guys, I am going to talk about how to block a website on your network on your browser. Guys, there are a lot of people who just surf on the internet while they are in their office. They are using internet while not doing the office work. Or if you have kids at home and you don't want them to use YouTube, Facebook, Instagram all day long, you just want to set a timer or you just want to fix a day on that day they should. Use the website and other day they should not and they should work. They should study and everything. So guys, you can put the lock or you can lock on a website on the URL of a website from your router. So guys, if you are having a router of dealing, there is a process to do it. You can do all the HTTP websites, the website which are not secure, the website which are random. the website which are majorly new and if someone has created so if they are using that so you can put a lock on http websites and not on the https websites these are the two categories of website so you cannot put on https because they are secure there is a other way to do it i'll tell you that in the later half of half of the video so let's block the websites from your dlink router i'm going to tell you from the dlink router first so guys let's log on to the router and let's continue so guys let's log into the dlink router and let's see how we can just parental lock the website so guys uh, you have to log into the 192.168.1.1 if you are having a zero in between so you just check on your website so guys i will log in to the dlink router so guys from here you have to go to the advanced So over here you will find the parent lock and you have to click on the URL block. So guys, uh, over here you have to see the URL blocking capacity which will which should be enabled and the keyword you have to type the HTTP website. So like So guys, this is the website which is an HTTP and not HTTPS. So I'll just click on the manual schedule. Uh, I want days like it should be on like every day. Let's select it. Uh, hour time you can just write down in 24 hour format if you want. Put it like that. You want from 8 to 12 to something. I'll just click on all day 24 hour. Okay. So now you can click on the add filter. So over here when you click the add filter. This will be added to the URL blocking table, which you can see. See, this is happy. You can select over here. You can modify it. You can delete it. Here's the modify option. Here's the delete option. You have to just click on the apply changes option, and let's see. This is the happy life. Now let's click again. So it won't open. It will just load again and again. So if this website won't open, won't refresh it, it will just load it again and again and it will be really gone. So this is an HTTP website, not an HTTPS website. So guys, this was all about how to block a website of HTTP, which is 
not secure, which is basic, which is new, which is random. So if you want to block HTTPS websites, which are secure, like Facebook, YouTube, so you can do that via your browser. Your browser itself has a option of blocking that. So I'm going to tell on the Google Chrome browser. So let's check it out. So guys, the next way to do HTTPS websites to block the websites is by an extension in your Google Chrome. So see this, this is the secured google.com HTTPS. So you can block this. You just have to go to the extensions. You can just search extensions over here. Now you just have to go to the Chrome Web Store. Click on the Chrome Web Store. Over here, you can you have to search block site. The block site extension. So now you have to click on add to extension and then it will be added to your Google Chrome extension over here. Over here, now this getting installed. Now, when it's installed, you have to click on the settings tab or the extension. Over here, you can go to your all the extensions. So, go into the settings tab and you can just click on this tab also directly to the blog site. And this blog site will be opened. Now, you can select on blog the site. So, you just click on the blog site option. The extension will get opened in a different tab. And over here, you just have to put down the keyword or the mail at website address or the website name. So I'm writing facebook.com. So now I'll add this from the plus sign to the block list. Facebook will be added like this. Now when I click on search Facebook, it won't open. Yeah, see, the Facebook doesn't open. There's a quote and the site is blocked. So by this you can block any website, anything which you want to add. You can just uh, you can just remove if you want to remove it. There are a lot of settings for this. When you go into setting tab, you can just enable it via this. You can just uh, check the password for it if you want to use the website. So you can add on a password like parental lock, thing password. If you want to access it so via password you can access it. So you can check mark all these two things or one of these things. This will be added and now you can schedule the website also in this whatever time you want you can schedule it so guys this was the way by downloading an extension you can block all the websites which you don't want anyone to see if you're having multiple pcs or multiple laptops or phones just log on to all those from a single id or you can just install that extension on all the laptops and you can block it and you can put a lock on that also so that no one can search it or no one can remove the websites from that block list so guys this was all about how to block a website this was the 30th episode of tuesday talks thank you everyone for all your love and support to tuesday talk series hope you like this video this is varun lilani i come up with an informative video every tuesday do like share and subscribe this is varun lilani signing off